back out to the same spot I was fishing earlier this morning. I just couldn't let this opportunity go to waste because they were really eating these fiddlers like no tomorrow. I don't know if I'll ever have a chance like this to catch them again. So I got a bunch of fiddlers. My hands are filthy because I was scouring the mud flag like a hog. And I'm back out here to see if the fish are still biting like they were a few minutes ago. And it's just my hope that I'll get lucky. Oh. Man. Don't worry, I'll get you, buddy. I'll get you. I'm using my finesse pole this time. I'm done trying to catch redfish. I'll catch what's biting. Oh man, these hooks aren't too great. They keep picking it up. They don't. Oh, they just hold it in their teeth, and I can't hook them if they do that. Come on, man. I'm not trying to let them swallow it either. That's just bad play. They keep picking it up. They're carrying it. He's carrying it to the boat. See, I don't know what to do. Should I set the hook or should I just leave it? Oh, well, there's a good decision. <laughs> Guess the answer is just to let them eat it. Well, it looks like they're all about the same size, but fun nonetheless. I was hoping that there'd be at least a, a two pounder in there. These sheephead, they can get about 15 pounds. This is definitely a small one, but fun to catch them. Get up again. <laughs> Eh, you can never really tell if one's big or not because they all fight on the side. They're all about the same size. That's disappointing. That might be the biggest one yet, though. I can't tell. Definitely a good decision to come back out here, though. Because they're just eating and eating. <sighs> Clean me that time. I'm doing as I'm just hooking them in the back legs so they still have some action when they get in the water and move around a little bit and it attracts the sheep head even more. You know, there's a possibility I could catch a redfish with one of these things, but it's pretty slim. I mean, they're just non-stop. There's got to be a swarm over there. That's why they're carrying it off as soon as it drops down because they don't want their friends to eat it. Yeah, look, it's bringing it to the boat again. There we go. Just gotta let them take it. Another one. <laughs> I'll throw him back. At least one big one in the mix. Bringing it to the boat again. See? I don't know why they're doing that. Whatever. Make it easier on me when I'm pulling your ass in. Okay. Try number two. Please don't tell me I caught them all. I don't think that's the case. There's got to be a. Oh, no, there's another one. He's got it. He's bringing it to the boat again. Ah, uh, might be a little. A little bigger, definitely get a little bit more fighting in. Ah, uh, nope, same size. Disappointment after disappointment. Ah. Uh. 
Uh, this guy might be a little bigger. Uh, sure feels like it. Yeah, I'd say, say so. Awesome. There we go, that's a good one. Oh, another good one? Can't be. Uh, not a netter, boat flip. Okay, nice. Another one, and another one, another one bites the dust. Head, I don't know. I forgot and I stopped counting. There you go, buddy. Another one. This might be the last one of the day. Running low on bait. Uh. 12 incher. Adios. Got one on the last bait. This might be the bait. Eh, unless I just foul hooked it. Yep, that's exactly what I did. Oh boy. Sorry, dude. Should be fine. It's just a small hook. It's gonna do it for me today. I completely slayed the sheephead. <laughs> Didn't catch any big ones, but you know, sometimes you want quantity over quality, I guess, because I think I caught between that time probably 20 sheephead. It's a great day, and I have more in store for you guys. So don't forget to subscribe and like and share. <laughs>